Welcome to Brilliantly British. My name is Lawrence and today I'm going to show you how to make shortbread and Cadbury style chocolate fingers from scratch at home yourselves. So as I show you how to make it, sit back, relax and enjoy this episode. And don't forget to subscribe. Shortbreads are a traditional biscuit native to Scotland and were a favourite of the Queen of Scots, Her Royal Highness Queen Mary, who loved them for their melt-in-the-mouth texture. Oh. The biscuits can come in a variety of shapes and sizes, but in this episode, just for you, we'll be showing you how to make classic petticoat tails, named after the classic dresswear item, as well as a chocolate-coated shortbread finger or to British ears, Cadbury chocolate fingers. So, with the introductions made and your interest peaking, allow me to introduce the ingredients to you. For today's Brilliantly British shortbread biscuits or chocolate fingers, depending on which one of them takes your fancy, you will need some flour, some butter, some caster sugar, some good quality chocolate. You can go for white chocolate, milk chocolate, or the only good chocolate that I think exists dark chocolate and of course you will need a pinch of salt that's it for the making of today's biscuits but before you do anything at all just as i always say i'm going to say it again switch on your kettle brew yourself a nice cup of hot tea so that you can sip on that whilst you bake four our shortbreads into a large bowl of flour i'll dust in my caster sugar whisk then with my fingertips incorporate my cubes of butter. Once fully incorporated, the contents of your bowl should resemble a fine sand, with half being pressed into a fluted tart pan. Not forgetting, of course, to begin preheating your oven. Whilst your oven does preheat, use a spoon to level out the top before decoratively scoring, segmenting, and then piercing before sliding into your oven to bake for 30 minutes. Whilst the first batch bakes into a paper lined baking tray, spread out your dough before sliding into your oven to bake for 30 minutes also. After 30 minutes of baking with the contents still hot, resegment your shortbread, then set to one side, allowing it to cool completely. Not long after, my tray of shortbread was summoned from the oven and was crucially allowed to cool for 10 minutes before handling or removing from my baking tray. After removing from your tray with the shortbread still warm, waste no time delicately slicing your shortbread into strips, then fingers before leaving to cool completely. Oh, and I will definitely judge you for not eating the scraps around the sides. Whilst the shortbread fingers cool, I'll slowly melt some chocolate over a bain-marie, making sure that the water never boils dry or rises to a rolling boil in order to avoid splitting the chocolate. Once molten, I switched off my hob, then carefully submerged my fingers one at a time before laying on top of a baking paper lined cooking rack. Repeat this therapeutic task until all shortbread fingers have been coated. Then place your rack somewhere cool, allowing the chocolate to set. If you are wondering what to do with the remaining molten chocolate, add milk, reheat gradually, and then enjoy a quick and easy hot chocolate, whilst of course browsing through our brilliantly British content. You're welcome. With all that said and done, I think now would be the best time for... Tasting, tasting, tasting. All right. I know this is going to be an amazing nostalgic experience, especially with the Cadbury style chocolate fingers. But first, we're gonna start things off with the petty coat tails, the original shortbreads. So, three, two, one. Oh, mmm. Okay, unequivocally, it's always been known to me, and it's how it should be when you have shortbreads on contact with your tongue they should just melt especially with a cup of tea and that is exactly what these shortbreads these homemade shortbreads do i mean they perform they deliver on flavor the quality of the butter really matters that is why we recommend 
using homemade Brilliant British fermented butter. And oh, it's amazing, it's beautiful. They're so delicate and truly, as the name suggests, short in texture. They should have no structure to them at all. They should just on contact yield to a bite and just fall apart in your mouth. They are beautiful, beautiful. Well done, Scotland, really. Now for the chocolate fingers. Well, what can I say? We already know the shortbread's good. Now I've laced, bedecked, covered these <laughs> this shortbread in dark chocolate my personal preference and well i just think this is perfection right here the chocolate just melts on contact the biscuit inside melts on contact but has a different texture as well and then to round everything off why not mm, cleanse the palate start again repeat this is dangerous with unlimited tea you could comfortably on your own finish this platter here before me so with that being said you've seen how easy it is to make these biscuits and i promise you they will impress any guests that you have so waste no time don't delay make either chocolate fingers or original shortbreads petticoat tails please thank you thank you thank you all for allowing me to show you how to make shortbread and cadbury style chocolate fingers knowing that you loved this episode don't forget to click on the like button the subscribe button and the notification button so that you don't miss any of our new releases tell everyone you know about the brilliantly british food on this channel and follow us on all of the social media platforms that this channel is on and i will see you next time Herzlich willkommen in Brilliant British. Ich heiße Lorenz.